Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Full Moon in Cancer reading for December 26, 2023. Full Moon's close out cycles. Um, let's see, the direction this reading is going in is optimism. Huzzah! Number one, consciousness. So maybe we're looking towards a new beginning. Maybe this new year holds something special for you and your consciousness is uh, you're conscious of of a new beginning of, of of a new day dawning you're optimistic this is wonderful so that is the direction the reading is going in but your personal focus for the next two weeks is the hermit card so we can be searching for something here um we can be looking for information um the hermit uh, seeks information goes back to his uh mountaintop digests the information, turns that knowledge into wisdom, and then can um, uh, help other people who may be in a similar situation or give out that wisdom that, uh, that he has accumulated. Um, nine is um, wisdom, and on the negative side it can be doomsday energy or ways of thinking. But in this case it's optimistic so uh, I do feel like there's wisdom here. The hermit may be searching for something, some information or someone, or people can be coming to him for that information or the wisdom that uh, they have to impart on others. It's a nice card, and I personally like it. Okay, so... Um, the first column is... Uh, what the full moon is closing out, what cycle the full moon may be closing out, or where you find yourself at the time of the full moon if you are not conscious of any um, big cycle that is ending for you. However, it is the end of the year, so that can be uh, what a lot of people consider uh, the end of a major <laughs> year cycle. The center column is you and how you're dealing with the whole situation. And the last column is probable outcome. Probable because sometimes we have the ability to change the situation, but if we were um, meant to experience it, then it's just going to happen. We wanted to have that experience. Okay, let's have a look at this now. Now. I'm glad you're optimistic because, you know, where thoughts go, energy flows. And this looks pretty happy, to be honest with you. Uh, three of Cups and the Emperor. The Three of Cups are the muses. It's the joie de vivre, the joy of life. Um, there may have been a lot of parties, or you are dealing with parties, or gatherings. Can be good females around you that lift and hold you up. Um, but it is the joy of life. And things to be grateful for and thankful for. So you may be, as an, with an optimistic uh, way of thinking, you may be uh, grateful for females in your life. Um, for uh, You may just be thinking about what you are grateful for. You could also be quite creative because they are the muses that inspire us. Um, and we have the emperor. So, for some people, maybe there is an anniversary or a celebration around a father figure, a grandfather figure, or an important male in your life. But this can also be authority, so maybe the boss is uh, celebrating you, um, offering you a pay raise or, um, you know, a Christmas packet of some sort or Christmas bonus, that kind of thing. Um... Maybe you are enjoying a grandparent or a father for some of you, or just somebody in authority. Um, let's have a look at this. But it feels joyous. It feels happy. Uh, you may uh, actually be taking um, matters into your own hands because the emperor is somebody who is um, uh, can um, make rules and regulations for the good of everyone, or they can rule with an iron fist. 
With that, you have the high priestess. Hmm, maybe you're cr making a surprise for somebody in your life or they are uh, surprising you with something. It's going to even be a husband for some people, but it's an important male figure or an important um, person who has masculine energy but is um, uh, an authority on something. There can be some secrets going on. It could, it could be, even be a surprise party for somebody um, or a big surprise that uh, for Christmas that we're kind of keeping under wraps and um, and um, not letting on to what we're doing. can even be that you're going to surprise a parent or something by coming by that you that maybe they weren't expecting you, something like that. That the high priestess is secrets. It's more than that. It's your divinity. But it doesn't feel like we're doing that here. It doesn't feel that deep. Uh, especially with the muses and the celebrations kind of thing. However, I mean, for some people it's a very religious period. And you can be... Um, reaching some deeper depths. Um, the High Priestess is your divinity and what you believe is divine. And you can be celebrating that. It is the season. Um, how you're dealing with things. You have the Knight of Wands. Or sorry. <laughs> Why did I say that? The Knight of Swords. This is the Knight in Shining Armor. That would be you. Um, you could be very busy running from place to place and maybe you just kind of go to one party and uh, have to leave quickly to go to another one. Maybe you're flitting around the place getting gifts together or, um, you know, ingredients for a, a wonderful meal. Because you have the Six of Cups there, this is a very sharing card and so sharing with family and friends. Um, we are in Mercury in retrograde still, I believe. And so people and situations and places from the past come forward again. Uh, you could be on the move a lot. Maybe you're traveling, like I said, from place to place, from friend to friend, from people to people, um, party to party, that kind of thing. Um, but it is a fast-paced energy with that Knight of Swords. There is communication here with this card. Uh, the need to communicate, um, and this can be family within family unit, or the people that you see every day. These, This is the, uh, the daily card, daily living costs, that sort of thing. Maybe you are very careful about your finances right now, not spending too much, or um, maybe it's the opposite. <laughs> maybe you're just letting it flow and not giving a worry about it because the Knight of Swords is just a quick acting energy and you're thinking, well, they're friends anyway, so um, it's all good. And, you know, what is money? Uh, it can be that kind of thing. But, you know, watch your finances. However, you're optimistic, so I think things will be okay because you have the Ace of Swords as an outcome. The Ace of Swords is my yes card. It is triumph and security. It's clarity and it's action through that clarity. And you have the Eight of Wands with that. Wow, that's a kicking com uh, combination. The Eight of Wands is where thoughts go, energy flows, and you have clarity of mind. You know where you're going now. You know what you're doing, and things can move very swiftly and quickly after this. And you may give a yes answer. You may receive a yes answer, but that um, Ace of Swords is yes in a big way. You may have to take some new action, but you can focus and you can get it done, and you can get it done quite swiftly. <laughs> Plus, you're the Knight of Swords, which is wielding that sword. Um, wow, that's some pretty powerful <clears throat> energy as far as I'm concerned. Scorpio. Then you have the Six of Pentacles uh, here, so you can, again, be helping out other people. This is the sharing card. Um this is uh, generosity. It's helping those less fortunate. Um, it is balancing out finances um, and what you have left to spare. You help with other people. It's a very generous card. Um, 
you may have a little cash to spare because here you have 10 of pentacles so maybe you got a huge bonus or something and you want to help other people out with that uh with money or with your help or generosity that sort of thing uh really lovely reading um i don't see anything negative here not one negative thing and i really am somebody who believes that your consciousness how you think uh definitely creates the scenarios in your life and even if something negative were to happen your perspective on it as long as it is positive will not keep you in any kind of negative um, way of thinking it moves that energy right along if you can see the positive in everything then really there's no problem uh, and uh, that is the higher mind that's the hermit right so you may feel like you want to be alone with the hermit, but I think there's parties and situations and um, moving here and there. I really think you're on the go. You might be doing some traveling. Um, but it can be something unexpected with that Knight of Swords. All of a sudden you're, you know, you decide to go somewhere or, you know, you decide to visit somebody or you make quick decisions with that Knight of Swords energy. And it all seems to work out quite well for you. So, please enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Oh, what does Spirit want you to know? I almost forgot. Again, this is an old deck, but it's a, a very sentimental one for me. Intuition. Oh, that's good for Scorpio. Listen to your inner wisdom, the hermit. And I'm pretty sure your inner wisdom is optimistic. Okay, kid. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. I'll return in two weeks with a new moon reading. Until then, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whatever you're celebrating. May it be joyous and wonderful, and um, I wish you many blessings. Thanks for listening. Take good care. Bye for now.